in the U.S. has a stroke. But stroke is also largely preventable and treatable. Andy Guevara takes an inside look at the services available for patients at Renown's Rehabilitation Hospital. It's something many of us take for granted, but can seem impossible for someone recovering from a massive stroke, like Sunpreet Singh, who at 36 had a massive brain stem stroke. So he came to us unable to walk, unable to talk, unable to eat, unable to control his bowel and bladder. Singh, who goes by the nickname Danny, spent three months in intensive care before moving over to renowned Rehabilitation Hospital. Don't think life is over for stroke, no. Be positive. A positive attitude and all the tools of the trade are what patients need to get on the road to recovery. Dr. Stefan Humphreys, medical director at Renown Rehab Hospital, says they take a team approach to care. He has a physical therapist working with him, occupational therapist, speech therapist, respiratory therapist, pharmacist. The rehab hospital at Renown is separate from the main campus and is specially designed for those who've suffered catastrophic injuries like brain and spinal cord damage. There are even apartment style rooms so patients can relearn skills like cooking and bathing independently. We not only treat the physical person, but we treat the psychological and social person as well. The average patient receives therapy three hours a day for about two weeks while living at the facility. Danny's condition was so severe, he's been here three months. He says he'll be forever grateful for Dr. Humphrey's dedication. I, uh, but I am today because of him. The recovery that he's made is little short of a miracle. Next, Danny will transition to a group home and outpatient therapy before moving back home to his native India. Covering the story, Andy Guevara, Channel 2 News.